Hey guys, welcome to another circle geometry lesson. Uh, we're actually now up to lesson four, even though it says level, lesson three at the top. Um, and the theorem that we want to talk about today, there is actually two of them. But the first one is that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum 180 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, firstly, let's draw a cyclic quadrilateral, which is basically a quadrilateral in a circle. So you guys should be pretty familiar with um, GeoGebra now. So I'm going to create a circle in GeoGebra. And I'm going to have four points on the outer at the circumference. And I'm going to join them up with um, segment between two points. So I'm going to join up all the points. And you can see that now I have a cyclic quadrilateral, which is a four-sided shape that I can just drag around uh, in the circle. You'll notice that I haven't used point B as one of the points because point B I'm going to use to change the size of the circle. Okay, now I'm going to create the angles at each of these corners um, of the cyclic quadrilateral. And remember to draw your angles anti-clockwise. Um, so there's uh, all of my angles, oops, and you'll see that, oops, and you'll see that all the angles, um, add up to 360, which is a feature of quadrilaterals. And you'll see that each angle and its opposite angle will add up to 180. So actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this to my um, lesson. But before I do that, I'll just drag this around so you can see that it works no matter what the quadrilateral looks like. So I'm going to drag, I'm going to copy and paste this circle, sorry, this quadrilateral into my uh, picture drawing application so I'm going to put it in here and I'm just going to show you using calculator that the opposite angles so this one and this one these two angles are opposite each other which means um, which means what it means they're opposite each other okay so what I want to do now is just check with the calculator that 114 plus 98 sorry 114.98 plus 65.02 these two angles will add up to 180 so let's check with the calculator 114.98 plus 65.02 and it does equal 180 and the same thing will work if you add the other two opposite angles so this angle and this angle which are opposite each other will also add up to 180 so that is the that is the uh, concept that you have to learn opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum 180 so let's say in the question I don't show you what this angle is and the question is uh, this is angle X and the question says find angle X All right now all you need to do for that is use the theorem that angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum 180 and just take X away from 180 so 180 take sorry take 90.17 away from 180 and 
The reason why you do that is because you know that x plus one plus ninety point one seven will give you one eighty. So you're gonna take it away, take ninety point one seven away from one eighty. And that'll give you eighty nine point eight three which is the size of angle X. And the reason all you have to do is draw the code for a cyclic quadrilateral, which is just a four-sided shape in a circle. Okay, so that is our first theorem that you have to learn. Okay, let's have a look at the second theorem you have to learn, which is the point at which the tangent touches the radius will be perpendicular to the radius at that point. Now actually I'm just going to change the word radius here to circumference. All right, because that was a typo there. The point at which the tangent touches the circumference will be perpendicular to the radius at that point. So you probably have no idea what that means right now. So uh, I'm just going to delete everything here and just do it again. So I'm going to delete all my objects, draw a circle. And what I'm going to do now is draw a tangent at point B. All right, so I'm going to move the point B here and I'm going to use the tangent tool which is um, inside the line tool but drop uh, drag uh, move down to tangents and the first thing you want to do is click the point B and then click the circumference and you can see that the program has drawn a tangent line for us at point B alright so what we want to do now is draw a radius of the circle um, connecting point A to point B and we're going to create the angle from the tangent line to point A or from A to B uh, the tangent line and uh, actually let's draw that the other way so click the tangent line first then click the radius and uh, for some reason, hang on, just let me fix that. Okay, so to fix that problem, what we had to do is create another point on the radius, sorry, on the tangent line, and join um, the point B to point C using the segment tool. And then we draw the angle from the tangent line to our radius and you'll see that this angle is always 90 degrees so the tangent line will always make 90 degrees with the radius at the point of contact no matter how you drag it around alright so that is the next rule so I'll copy and paste this um, to our lesson alright so if for some reason in the test um, this angle was rubbed out alright so it doesn't show you uh, the angle here then what you can do is you can say that this angle is equal to 90 degrees and um, because of the rule that the tangent when the, where the tangent touches um, the circle it's going to be right angles to the radius alright so my program is broken but I guess you understand everything that we have talked about so far okay thanks for watching guys see you next